Okay, hello Superstar users. Uh, it's an old Superstar 3900 first release here with a problem of lazy needles, lazy S meter. And uh, now uh, there's a level of 50 microvolts here. 50 microvolts into 50 ohm on 27405. Uh, 50 microvolts like. 100 microvolts EMF is the same level. Okay, we go back to into 50 ohms. Um, we have S9 approximately, and we go to S8. S8 here is about 25 microvolts, and you can see the S meter shows me. S526, <laughs> very bad. And now we go to the level of S7, 13 microvolts. And S med shows me S2. <laughs> and we go to S6, uh, it's about 6.3 microvolts here. <coughs> S meter shows me S, approximately S1, and the uh, level of S5, 3.2 microvolts, and the S level is zero, no display. What's the problem, huh? Okay, the problem here is on this part here. This is the S meter adjustment part. The VR1 here for AM FM S meter calibration. VR2 here for SPCW meter calibration. This is AM switch and this is the SP switch. And this part here, this is a rectifier detector for S meter readout. And the 1N4148 is a silicon type. And the forward voltage starts about 0 0.6 volts. And this is very high. For low signal deflection we need uh, signals lower than 0 0.2 volts. And the solution is a germanium diode. Yes, that's the solution. This is a germanium diode D12, the new D12 here. Okay, uh, this uh, is a VR1 for AMFM, as meter adjust, and VR2. And this is D12 silicon diode. Uh, we must change with a germanium type here, like the OA95. Or one and sixty here. Okay, this and this. These are the soldering points of D12. We must replace it with germanium type here. Okay, we remove it now. Yeah. Okay, this is the old diode D12. The forward voltage starts about zero. 0.58 volts. Okay, this is the 1N60 germanium type diode. Or oh, the forward voltage start about 0.28 volts here. This is very important to detect very low signals and show me on the S meter. Okay, now it's altering here. And here again, it's okay. Cut off the soldering legs here and here. Okay, this is the new D12 to 1N60 here. Okay, we are back here. This is 50 microvolts into 50 ohms or 100 microvolt, 100 microvolt EMF, 50 microvolts into 50 ohm here, 
45 dB is over 9 and we reset S meter to S9 here. Okay, okay, the level S9 is 50 microvolts in 250 ohm, similar 100 microvolts EMF. Um, now we go to S7, S7, uh, like 13 microvolts. The S meter shows me 7 to 8, uh, approximately here. Now we go to S6, S6.3 microvolts into 50 ohm. Yeah, it's uh, correct here. And we go to S5, is 3.2 microvolts. The meter reflects approximately S4. It's more better than before the modification. And we go to S4. Uh, uh, shows me S2 and S2 show me S1 and S1 uh -huh. show me 0 0.5 uh, it's not bad here I think it's more better than before the modification here on IM okay I'm back again now we will show signals over S9 S9 here is 50 microvolts into 50 ohm and now we go to S9 plus 10 here is about 160 microvolts here and the needle will show about 10 dB is over 9, it's right here. Um, go to 20 dB is over 9, it's about 500 milli, uh, microvolts here. And the needle will show a little bit more here. You go to 30 dB is over 9, it's uh, 1.6 millivolts. It shows me about 15 dB over 9 here on the superstar here. We go to 40 dB over 9. It's about 5 millivolts here. 5 millivolts to 50 ohms. And the uh, S needle will show 20 dB over 9 here on the superstar. And then we go to 50 dB over 9 is about 16 millivolts. The needle will show about uh, 30 dB over 9 here. And the last level here is about 53 dB over 9 and this is about 24 millivolts. And the needle stops about 30 dB over 9. Okay, now we will show with the transceiver beside. Okay, I'm back again here. Now we will see the S needle here on an external antenna. Signal here you can see is noisy from the neighborhood. And beside. Here we have a Polomar 500. It's a predator of a superstar here. Uh, same design. And we will send beside the superstar uh, to look the dynamic of the needle here. Okay, I will send you about 4 watts. And you can see 
as Needle of Superstar is showing 45 dB over 9. And here the noise again. About S3. And I send again. Okay. About 45 dB over 9. Yes, the needle is now very dynamic here and it's a very good modification. Okay, it's time for a test. Um, this is a, a very basic signal splitter. 3 dB less per output here. And the input signal is uh, both same here. This is a Superstar 3900 modified and this is a Superstar 360 FM modified. And we can see here the signals. They are approximately the same signals here. These are very low signals were displayed here. No lazy needle. Very dynamic needles here. And I'd like to test with a Super Galaxy without modification. Okay, I'm back here with the Super Galaxy and the Superstar 3900 modified S meter not modified S meter with a lazy S meter, lazy needle here we are on channel 21 on both transceiver here you can see the signal S7 here and S2 here S7 here S2 here Very lazy needle uh, it's also time to modify the S meter part of this super galaxy here I hate lazy needles <laughs> 